Hello friends, welcome to Learning Earning. This is the second video in the series of the basic electrical technology. So far we have discussed about the motivation, the power generation and the applications. Uh, the power generation through the thermal power plants, the hydroelectric power generation, windmills and uh, photovoltaic cells and even the applications and the demand for the subject. Now we are going to discuss about this core structure. The core structure is uh, divided into three parts electric essentials electrical essentials electromagnetic devices and electromagneto mechanical devices so my friends the course is divided into three parts namely the electrical essentials the electromagnetic devices the electromagneto mechanical devices I would appreciate you if at all you make a note of these so that um, it will be used for, for our future references going into the subjects the first electrical essentials we are going to discuss the first one is about the source the load how it gets transformed and how some amount of the source energy or the power is dissipated and how some amount of the source energy is stored as kinetic energy and potential energy the nexus uh, which we find in this particular flow chart or the diagram shows you the source the load and how it gets transformed and how some amount of uh, energy is dissipated and how some amount of energy is being stored dissipation through resistance or resistors in the form of kinetic energy it is stored in inductors inductances it is named as L um, potential energy capacitors we'll see get into each and every topic and discuss in detail the source how it is traveled or transformed towards the load and how uh, some amount of uh, the energy is being dissipated in the form of heat through resistors and how energy is being uh, stored as potential energy in capacitors and kinetic energy in um, inductances so this is going to be our first lecture in the electrical essentials well uh, the second lecture is going to be the sources the sources what are the sources well the sources which we are going to discuss right here are the voltage sources and uh, the current sources these in detail DC and AC the sources they might be a voltage source or um, it might be a current source it might be a DC voltage source or it might be AC voltage source in the same way a DC current source or an AC current source so the second lecture we're going to concentrate on the sources in uh, the two types of uh, DC or AC way of transmission third lecture is going to be the important and uh, the most fundamental concepts in uh, electrical engineering or whenever you want to solve any circuit you are going to learn these laws in detail because they are going to be the fundamental laws while you are solving any electrical circuit they are the Kirchhoff laws Kirchhoff's law like the Kirchhoff current law it's called the KCL the acronym of KCL is Kirchhoff's current law and uh, the same way for voltage it's Kirchhoff's voltage law the applications of these two are innumerable are like the basics which we need to learn for solving any electrical uh, net circuit well the next might be uh, yeah the space representation or the state space representation or getting a circuit into its mathematical form mathematical representation of a given 
circuit. Whenever you get a circuit, you have to uh, represent it in mathematical form so that you can uh, analyze or assess numerical methods. So you got to represent each and every circuit in mathematical form and that's what we are going to discuss in the fourth video or the fourth lecture and then throw ourselves into the uh, analyzing the same mathematical representation of circuit in different domains it might be a time domain maybe frequency domain analysis or the letter or the pole zero analyzing mathematical representation of a given circuit in time domain in frequency domain and in pole zero domain is being discussed in the fifth video of the series and even how we convert from one domain to another domain from time domain to frequency domain we are going to discuss right over here well the next concept which we are going to discuss after analyzing in different domains is concept of sinusoids very important concept sinusoids so what are sinusoids in a sinusoid a representation of a voltage or current waveform through a sinusoidal signal with peak value rms value frequency etc well the next video or the next next lecture is going to be the seventh video is going to be the phaser analysis phaser analysis of a particular circuit or the network is being discussed in the seventh video. In this, we're going to concentrate how to draw a circuit in a phaser diagram representation and uh, the spatial and temporal vector relations. Spatial temporal vector notations. How to draw a phaser diagram of a particular circuit. So this is going to be our seventh video in the series. After the phaser analysis, we are going to concentrate over the concept of power factor, power factor. Many of you know the power which is transferred to the load is the active power and the power which is fed back into the source is the reactive power, uh, the components are the V and V are the watts, right? Uh, the V I. So what is V A? What is V A R? What is watt? What is V I? Everything we are going to discuss in the concept of power factor, and later on uh, the concept of ports, the energy ports, and uh, the variables which we are going to discuss, covered in the ninth lecture or the ninth video of the electrical essential series concept of ports is like flow of energy from one form to another it's pretty much like that by this we conclude electrical essentials and we are going to move on to the next concept yeah the electromagnetic devices the electromagnetic devices we are going to discuss about uh, transformers in the module 2 the electromagnetic devices the transformers we are going to learn about the transformer basics which include the Faraday's laws operation of transformer representation of transformer and phaser diagrams practical and ideal transformers the differences between them and the various uh, phaser diagrams which are included the course of uh, the theory of transformers then the last module in the course structure is the electromagnetomechanical devices. What are electromagnetomechanical devices? Simple. The machines. The machines are the electromagnetomechanical devices. It is in the module 3. Electromagnetomechanical devices are the machines so what are all the machines do you see in this domain well the machines are DC generator DC motor I'll make a note of it DC generator DC motor and we'll again jump back to three-phase transformers I'll tell you the reason later and uh, three-phase circuits Induction motors, generators, 
pretty important. Uh, you find applications of induction motors are innumerable. Uh, you see induction motors in electric vehicles, you see induction motors in uh, windmills, you find many places uh, the application of induction motors. Then you have finally synchronous motor and synchronous generators or alternators. The concepts are a bit refined and uh, gathered from the DC generators and uh, induction motors. So it's the same uh, principle wise it's going to change in the way the rotor and uh, the stator speed. Well, uh, these are the modules, the three modules which we are going to discuss and uh, each and every concept which we are going to uh, learn in uh, the upcoming videos. And uh, once again, if at all we quickly revise uh, the concepts which are going to be dealt, the sources, the resistors, the primary components, the resistors, inductors, capacitors and the sources, voltage and current in different types of transmissions and uh, Kirchhoff's laws, uh, space representation, mathematical representation of given circuit, analysis in time domain, frequency domain and pole zero domain, sinusoids and phaser analysis, concept of power factor, concept of poles and uh, the second module being uh, electro Ma uh, magnetic domain, uh, the transformers and the different kinds of transformers, are the practical, the ideal, the differences between them and the various uh, phasor diagrams which we'll be looking and uh, the third electromagnetomechanical uh, devices or the components like machines, DC generator, DC motor, three phase transformers, three phase circuits, induction motors, generators, synchronous motors and alternators. These are all the topics which we are going to learn in basic electrical technology. So friends, uh, make a note of each and every concept with which we are going to deal and uh, my best wishes to each and everyone and uh, I look forward to answer any of your questions or the comments which you put on. Thank you.